appreciate it when you 600th game at Charlotte. Uh, it says a lot about the assistant coach we've had, the players we've had, we've had over the years. It's been a pretty cool ride, so hopefully we can get to 601 tomorrow and maybe 602 again on, on Sunday. You guys, you guys are now 33 and 9 overall and 12 and 4 in the A10. How do you feel your team is? Played a good schedule. Um, you know, we knew we were, it was going to be competitive this weekend here at UMass. The wind's always blowing here, so it's a little bit different for us. But, uh, we just kind of like to just just keep playing, try to try to play the game in front of us and do the best we can every day. You got um, three pitches with all ERAs under two yeah. under two point two five. How have they been all year in general? Good. <laughs> yeah. Really, really good, and and uh, our bullpen's been good. Uh, we have played pretty good defense, so we just got to keep it going in the right direction. How about Andrew Smith today? You know, started off slow and then came around. You know, it's just trying to get a feel. You know, when you go on the road, you pitch in a different mound, different environments. It takes a little bit of time to get a feel. But a guy coming off Tommy John surgery last year did not pitch for us last year. Was a weekend guy the two years before that. It's great to have him back. He's really solidified that, that number one spot for us. How about how was that second inning? You guys came out, gave up those three runs in the bottom of the first, and came right back with four. How important was that? Honestly, I think we kind of got mad, you know, because we, we weren't playing really well, and I think our guys kind of got kind of got a little upset, and uh, we took advantage of a couple situations that were, you know, offensively, and, and just kind of carried on through the rest of the game. Can you talk a little bit about Voss Steedley behind the plate? You know, he's yeah. leading hitting on the team. Yeah, with, with him, uh, you know, he's, he's really done a good job of handling Andrew, and he'll catch Barnett again on Sunday. Miguel Rodriguez, another guy we've got that's a junior that's really developed into a quality guy, so we. We feel like we've got a pretty special deal going. We've got two catchers that can really catch at a high level, you know. And, and a lot of programs are looking for one, but we got two guys that are really developed and they do a great job of handling the pitching staff, calling most of the pitches. It's just it's been a positive deal in their development. How important is that for them to be calling their own pitches for your program? I think it's big time. I mean, you know, because that, that gives them a chance to play at the next level. And, you know, you get a chance to be able to, to manage the game, see the game, watch the game. Uh, Brandon Hall, our pitching coach, does a good job on the front end, cluing them in on what we need to do. In the middle of games, talking to him about what pitches we need to need to throw. Uh, we work on it all fall in practice, so it's, it's just something that we kind of do from the first day of fall practice all the way through now. How? What's your thoughts on the new bats this year? I love them. You love them? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great because I mean it's it's not wood. You know the ball still gets off the bat a little bit better than wood, and you still get some jam shot hits that you wouldn't get with wood. I like them. I think it, I think it's put uh, defense back in the game. I think the guys that can still hit are going to hit home runs. They're just not going to hit 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I can keep going. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. just, I think the game's a lot better now. I think it's going to be better for guys once they go to the next level. I think it's going to be, going to be better once they get to you know, the high schools implemented next year. And kids are going to really have to learn how to play the game again instead of just getting in there and swinging uphill all the time. It's also bad for the scouts, too. I think it's better for everybody. Yeah. You know, there'll be coaches that will disagree with me. but And sometimes the games get bogged down. And sometimes you don't have a lot of scoring and stuff like that. But it, it's back to being, you know, baseball uh, the way I think that it should be played. And you, you got to pitch. you got to keep the ball down. you got to move around, play defense. you got to hit and run. you got to bunt. you got to put the ball in play. I mean, there's just a lot of good things about it. And I think as time goes by, you're going to see the kids adjust to the bats. And you're still going to see some runs scored.